Hello guys, we meet again. So this second video, we will create wall and door element. So let's just get started. Open your save file. First, we will create a column. Column is we can create from rectangle object. Uh, go to line menu and click rectangle here oh but first let's just create column layer green color active the layer and just rectangle and again pay attention on your status bar here we will have a column with dimension 40 cm and 40 cm so just click pay attention on the status bar here the dimension we will have a 40 40 cm Uh, like this and click now I want to move this rectangle and then move because in AutoCAD you can just um, like snap hover your cursor here and go to your vertical so and it will show you the center of the center point of rectangle but in lubricate you can do that so it's a little tricky just gonna place delete original and I'm gonna do that again right click and move copy like that and we just need to move on the end point of the line and delete original and we will have um, like another column with distance 5 meters so this is uh, in centimeter so I will copy all the column like this now we have our column on its pos position we want next we will create a wall wall element we can create using offset mirror and let you how to do that and make another layer maybe blue active the layer and click on the house line maybe we'll use um, offset uh, 7.5 press it on the right this time escape and we can do, uh, repeat the same process but I'll, I also want to show you how to make a uh, I mean use a mirror function you can just click on the object you want to mirror and click mirror this is a one and then uh, specify second point of mirror line because just click here and keep original okay now we have 
our wall element can repeat the process again offset where is it and then click escape oops and can mirror again this object the reference point click again pick first pick the reference point and click on a second point just keep a original like that to make it quick I just want to copy also have a, a wall element on this side this side and this side so we'll create offset again enter so, I'm gonna use offset and escape okay now we have the wall element I'm just gonna copy If you can find a uh, end point or middle point of the line, just try to active and deactive the snap option here. Now we create a door element. With door element, we will use a line or maybe rectangle object and also arc object. With your knowledge, let's just create a um, door frame first. can go to curve and select three point here wait I'm gonna move the object Step. go to curve and three point just click here and here I have a um, double door so I need to mirror again this part select the part uh, you, you want to mirror pick center point <coughs> I mean pick the reference point which is uh, the middle point of our rectangle here and active the restrict orthogonal keep original and click again gonna move this door element and place where I want now 
I want to easily. This is the time where I need to clean up or uh, remove, delete or the unnecessary line. Example: I don't need this line inside of the column elements. I'm gonna delete this line by using trim command or tool. Need to go to modify trim and first table. This is a um, rectangle object. We need to explode this so it will <coughs> become <coughs> sorry become single line and go select the rectangle and explode. Now it becomes single line. That and go to trim. It's a select limiting entity. So I'm gonna select this one. We will we will remove uh, this side of the line. I'm gonna select this one first, and then next, read select entity to trim the side of line that you want to keep so i want to keep this side of line so i need to click that side so this one is remove i repeat again trim and i want to keep this side so i click on that side okay explode again and trim you can just right click and trim and click on the side that i want to keep keep trim this one and I keep this one. okay i think that's it i'm gonna repeat the whole process here here's the final result after i remove or the I unwanted lines that inside our column object like this oh I have one left I think okay mm. this I'm gonna delete export and trim okay I think I'm finished that's it thank you for watching and see you on next tutorial Bye.